cows out there. Um, I'm talking to Leo sun sign, or if that's your ascending sign, this is gonna be an important forecast for you. October 2015 is you know, possibly the best month of the entire year. I am starting the month primarily at the new moon though, October 12th, I just wanna mention that. Um, my advice for the month and for everybody is maximize your luck and continue with upgrades. But there's more. Now here I have the month kind of gra and graphically divided. You can see the first half of the month in red is kind of challenging. The second part of the month is green, that means go. So let's get into it. Mercury is retrograde until October 9th. So you're starting off in, in research mode and there's some kind of uh, troubleshooting endeavor that's been going on since mid-September regarding meetings. You know, maybe you had to have extra preparation. You had to have backup on your media. And it was just, you know, had to keep calling people, are you gonna be there? And it's just a little bit extra work. Now, October 3rd through 9th, this saga continues um, in the sense that Mars is in your second house, so you're pushing hard to um, make more money or to uh, have a, a stronger a sense of this, your aesthetics, of beauty in your life, and then also um, your instincts. Uh, and this is forming a challenge to your um, Neptune in your eighth house. Neptune in eighth house means that there's all this confusion involving collaborations. Maybe everybody needs a special treatment. There's a lot of glamour there, so it's like tiptoeing around and making sure everybody's happy. You don't want to blow anybody out of the water. So closing business deals can happen, but it requires very, very careful finesse during this time period. So just be very, very charming, I guess would be my advice. October 4th through 9th, the sun square Pluto. Now the sun allegedly has a lot to do with the sign of Leo, but for everybody, it is energy. It is the purpose of life. And right now, the beginning of October, your purpose of life is go to meetings, make visits, develop your media skills, and be a communicator. But this might be challenging in terms of some of your duties or your job or way, the way you think things should be done or the way you've been taught. And the trade secrets here are that maybe you know the best way to do it, but in a meeting, you don't want to blurt that out and outshine the master or reprimand an authority figure. So this is a little tricky. So that's so going to be here again, kind of careful. Now, things are getting better October 6th through 16th because this is the big centerpiece of the month is that, in case you hadn't already guessed here, Jupiter in your second house with Mars there, is that you're launching some important new um, resources or you know making money uh, opportunity or you're building some kind of you're, you're building up your tools or you're making something happen and this could work well in the sense that this could earn you a job or it could be that if this improves your health because you can see the success you can see this really developing rather nicely then October 9th, Mercury returns to prograde motion, so it's no longer retrograde. Mercury does go retrograde four times a year. It's not the end of the world, uh, but it is aggravating. So in this case now, meetings are gonna be easier. You can, uh, you know, visiting, maybe if you're hosting people, this just seems to be a lot smoother. And, you know, this, so this is just pretty much good news. Um, October 12th, there's a new moon, and this is near the, sun, the star Spica, which is in uh, the agricultural goddess is holding a shaft of grain. So this is a, signaling a new age in a way. Also because it's the new moon, it's open, receptive. In this case, a lot of meetings where you wanna be, you know, really as active as you can and meet a lot of people. And um, even though new moon is introverted, which means you don't really wanna go out, but it's always good to meet people or even to host a meeting of some sort. So there's some really rich uh, characters here, science, agriculture, and philosophy. The scenes that are active are cultural scenes like music and art, and the issues are hope versus cynicism. So Leos are known for this wonderful, bright, uh, creative, dynamic quality. So you would be very much sought after at meetings to kind of get everybody going and to, so, you know, but maybe you won't feel like it either, but so it's just kind of fake it till you make it, right? Just kind of be, you know, be your best version of yourself because all the experience, I'm calling it an experience residue, uh, or you could say, you could see the, the results of the experiences early in the month, which may have seen things like scandals, betrayal, or distraction. This has built your concentration and your character. So you can have the discipline to be attuned to culture, science, and justice. And these are the, the arenas that are offered to you here at this new moon to build an even more interesting and even better life at that new moon. So the, the new moon is opposite Uranus, 
And so, yeah, Uranus right now in the um, solar house of education, religion, and philosophy that you're really getting a very unusual or contrarian look at, uh, at the world. And, uh, and maybe you have a special global awareness that most people don't have, or maybe you're gearing up to do some travel, um, or you're just going to see some, some wonderful thing uh, on this new moon. And that would be um, a little distracting in some ways to these, some of these meetings. So it's a kind of a balance between the two. October 4th through 20th, Mars is conjunct Jupiter. Great sense of enterprise. So here you can be adding to your resources. You can uh, really increase your ability to handle aesthetics and your instincts are getting stronger. And this is the, this is the trend for the rest of 2015 and into 2016. So you're kind of building up that storehouse. So if people offer you things, just take it, whether it's, you know, no, I, don't, I don't want you to do anything unethical, but you know, it's just, the rule of thumb is Jupiter in your second house, start collecting stuff, building up your tool house, your storehouse, your raw materials, and your money. Um, okay, so huge success and great luck because it's, it's in sync with the powers that be. So it's very positive. And when Venus conjoins Jupiter even more, you can really feel like you've got something really great going on here. You can see where there's more money to be made or more resources to be developed. And then the full moon is in your 10th house so that you really have a great sense of your life's purpose, ambitions, and goals. Your reputation is enhanced and you triumph over obstacles. Now, full moons are very dramatic. There are important partnerships formed and there is a rich social life. And, and so it's just all about participation. And of course, in the 10th house, you really are putting your best self forward. This, uh, this full moon is in the Andromeda galaxy. So actually, you can expand your community of your, of your career and your life's purpose uh, during this time. It's also in the triangle, so you can be known for more and be involved with, with justice-oriented, truthful, righteous, and benevolent types of activities. And that also it's near the, the heart of Ketus the whale, another constellation. So you will be really feeling the pulse of life. And what are the patterns and systems and networks that are involved in your career? You really get a clearer sense of that. And here's the key thing that the, the, in the horns of the ram that you can get a, your drive to get to the top, slow but sure, is activated and you have much more confidence. So huge conglomerates going grand triumph with this full moon, really excellent. But then here's the other thing. The other incentive is that November's a whole different bag of beans. So you really want to maximize October because there will be some stoicism and sacrifice necessary in November. And um, so October's really your kind of month. Not to say that November isn't valuable. So anyway, thank you very much for listening. And I hope you just really push forward with everything you have in October. My name is Victoria Martin. I said that twice? Okay, that's right. You cut that. Okay. Okay, I can tell.